Some stars in our galaxy form pictures in the sky. This is the constellation, the Southern Cross in the Southern Hemisphere. Constellations 88 has created a line of fountain pens that represent these stars. This star is Acrux and the pen is the Alpha. This is Beta Crucis and Delta Crucis and Gamma Crucis. Stay tuned for Larry the Pen Bug Guy's review of the Delta. And here is the pen I'll be reviewing today. The uh, Crux Fountain Pen. And that's from the Constellation 88. And uh, a special thank you to Victor Rocco, R-A-C-C-O, for sending me this pen for a review and to share with all you folks out there. A very interesting fountain pen. So, this pen is made in India and it's called the Delta. It's partly made by hand and partly made by machine. The smaller the pen, it takes longer turning than a larger one and you have to be very careful to make sure that it turns out perfect. So here's how it comes in this uh, cardboard box with the Constellation logo on top and the name and the website and I'll turn it towards the camera so you can see it maybe better. So we'll open it up. This pen has a lot of good things going for it and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about it. And it comes, just as you see here, here it comes in a foam black pouch. And it has the logo here as well. This is the Constellation logo they use, so we'll go ahead and take the pin out. And put this aside. Let me get my pin bed here. And here is this pin. Now immediately for me I'm not one for small pins but depending on the pin. I really love this pin. I, I like the way it looked right off the bat. It's a vibrant blue color with pearl white black resin. And the cap and the barrel are polished to a high luscious, luxure, shining, beautiful sheen. Very well made. Looks really great. Just a stunning fountain pen. And uh, it has the Constellation 88 on the clip and it's got a silver band around the top going to the finial and uh, the finial is round nothing going on there but a beautiful color as you go down the barrel you'll see another silver ring and then you see some grooves there and we'll get to that in a minute it's a reason for that the pen fits well in the pocket securely So, not a bad pen by no means. I love the colors. It unscrews. And it does post with the screws the grooves, I'm sorry, on it, and it just screws right on in, and it is secure, and it won't come out. But you also can use it in the hand, 
This pen is made for a small palm, small hands. So it, once you post the cap, it becomes a regular size pen. But I'm thinking even large hands can uh, use this pen because as you come down the barrel, there's nothing sharp that's going to be annoying to your fingers. So if you have big chunky fingers and hold it up here, that's not going to be in the way. So the nib, let's go down to the heart of the pen. It's a number five steel polish nib. And uh, it's a Smith nib. It's a lightweight, but it's a perfect fit in the palm of my hand, as you see here. No ink converter can fit this. Only one Kaveco converter. That's the only converter that will fit this pen. It comes with a cartridge. So let me unscrew the barrel. And there is your cartridge. And here is your pen. Just as you see it here. On the nib, let's check out that nib. It's really important. It has M for medium, Schmidt rhodium point nib, Not a bad looking pen. Now this pen would be for people who collect pen, pen enthusiasts, uh, people just getting into fountain pens, collectors. Uh, this pen has a story. And I think the, the story is well fitting of this pen. It, it, it goes together. So if you heard of the Constellation 88, you want to check out their website because they've got other high, uh, they got other pens more high end than this one. And I'll give you the price here in a bit. But first, let's check out the pen more. It can be an eyedropper, I'm thinking. I've never tested it yet, but let's try that right now. Let me get some water here and fill it up and let's see if it holds the water. I'm sure it will. Okay. The uh, it does have middle part right here, the grip for the uh, barrel to go on. So, you might want to think before you eye drop it because of the metal part right here. It might corrode. So, I'm just giving you a fair warning. Uh, I've never tried it for eye drop. It, it did hold the water, but like I said, the ink could corrode the metal part and then you may run into some difficulties. So, let me empty that out. So, what I want to do next put it back together and continue talking about this pocket pin. You know, I, I like this resin, high polish, nice, well fit, well balanced pen. It just a stunning pocket pen, affordable pocket pen as well. So the length of the pen is 5.7 inches. Post it 
5.8 inches, and it weighs 15.6 Gs. The Delta Cruz is a blue-white herd star, is the dimmest of the Southern Cross stars. This pen sells for $88, which includes worldwide shipping. And uh, you have four pens to choose from. A medium nib. Now, when you go to the Constellation site to check out these pens, there's, there's nowhere to check for what nib you want. There's no choices of nibs. It comes in a medium nib only, so that would take care of that, right? So let's go ahead and get the converter out. Conveco converter. Nice little converter. No, they're not big on ink. And that's okay because for me, that's how I like it. So let's get some ink in here. And we'll ink this jewel up. All right. Not very long, is it? And I'll do it a couple of times. There we go. Get a good full. Now I got it. Good fill. I'll just set this aside. Put that back into here. And we're good to go. What ink are you using? I'm using KWZ Hawaii Blue. One of my favorite all-time inks of inks. Can't get enough of it. This really is a beautiful fountain pen. Love that high polish it is. Just a really pretty pen. So let's do some writing because if you keep up with my reviews, what mostly matters to me is how a pen writes. The nib, the heart of the fountain pen. So let me get my little book over here. I've got a Rodeo Dog Grid paper. And we'll get started. And then I'll do uh, some pin uh, comparison. And this is the Delta. Medium nib. And We can check for some wetness here. Look at that. Real nice nib. Really. Uh, I'm not just blowing my whistle because it really is a nice nib. I, I was very pleased with it. And this is the constellation where you can look this pin up.
and I'm using KWZ. Really beautiful ink, and it really goes well with this pen. This pen is just a enjoyable fountain pen. And, you know, good ink flow. Uh, no skips, no uh, bad starts. We'll try upside down. And it does right upside down. You can get a, a fine, probably even extra fine, but it does show that you can write with it upside down. All right, now, this pen is made in India. And I'll let Mr. Announce pronounce the name where because I am horrible in my pronunciation of names. Uh, Mumbai, India. Okay. So Mumbai, India. It's where it's made. And it really is wonderful, luxurious sheen, just beautiful. It just, I can't say enough good things about this pen. The only complaint I have about the pen, <clears throat> which is minor, is that it doesn't give a, a, a list about the nib size, but then since there are no options for nibs but a medium nib, I guess that's not necessary, right? Now let me compare this pen with some other pocket pens. Here is the Otto fountain pen. Much smaller slim line. Here is the Caveco pen. Shorter. But when you get to the Pilot Prera, about the same length. Maybe the Prera just a tad longer. Uh, and the Barrels are almost the same, but that's the comparison. This looks pretty close, but let's do something better yet. Let's check out when you post the pin. And check this out for a minute here, folks. This is a Delta Kirk's right here. Much longer than the Prera. And we'll do the Caveco. Why not? And still, the Delta's longer. And let's look at these nibs. 
the Delta has a, the largest net over the Caveco and it looks a bit little larger than the Polypera so what do you guys think? nice pen? I think it is I have to say honestly that I'm totally impressed with this pen. I did not think for a minute that this pen was going to work as well as it did because the picture on the website doesn't do it justice but when, once you get it right in front of you you're going to see wow what a great looking fountain pen and then when you write with it you're going to say wow what a great writing experience nice smooth nib and it's not a dry nib it's a decent nicely wet nib i, I like the pen yes and $88 it's not a bad price for a pen like this I, th I think it's well worth the money I think I'm going to have to get me a different one of the series as well and here's what it comes with again your foam leather case so there you have it I gave you a story about the pen I gave you my comments about the pen I tell you what I liked and which was everything about the pen the only thing I didn't like was it didn't have on the website to choose what size nib you wanted but then again there's only one nib size that comes on this pen which is a medium so therefore I guess there's no reason to have a choice of nibs right right so what do you think about the pen leave your comments below if you're interested mr. announcer will tell you how where to go and we will leave a description below where to find his pen mr. announcer uh, the website is constellations 88.com there you have it that's where you can find this pen and other pens that uh, Victor makes. Uh, just take a few minutes of your time and check out the website. Hey, I appreciate everybody for joining me today's review. I hope you enjoyed the video with it, we put with it, and your journey to space. Peace. Don't text and drive. Later, folks.